If someone wants to tailgate me, press that. This tailgate will lower down and uh, we can let it rip. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Focus, focus. Okay guys, people have been saying, and I did a post on Instagram like three, four days ago, maybe a little bit longer, and uh, I did a Photoshop on the Duramax with the 01 on the side, like, you know, generally, and people seem to have loved it. So let's do a quick like challenge, uh, 15,000 likes, and I will do that to this truck. Some people are saying, you know, put the Confederate flag on the top and everything. I'll do it all if this gets 15,000 likes. Um, Confederate flag though, no one's gonna see it, but oh well, we can do it. But people are gonna get mad at me. I know because some, some people think it's bad and some think it's good. So I'm gonna stay neutral on this because that's what you have to do on YouTube. 15,000 likes, and I will do it. All right, yeah, this is gonna be a really cool video, a really fun video. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of like fabricating to make this thing work properly you guys can already kind of tell what this video is going to be about before we jump into this guys remember it's 10 times entries to win street speed 717's ford raptor it's 700 horsepower it is an absolute monster of a truck want to get entered now is the time if you want to support my channel now is a great time to do so literally 10 times entries it'll be the highest multiplier we do for this giveaway and if you want to support my channel go pick up a t-shirt a poster I'll put them up on the screen right now of what we got available as far as my collection goes. And like I said, if you want to support me and have a chance to win a 700 horsepower Ford Raptor, now is a great time to do so. Good luck, guys. Link in the description. It's InChainDesigns.com. And it's under the Bertrand 850. Collection. Also, if you guys don't know already, Street Speed 717 and myself, we stream on Twitch basically every single night. It's twitch.tv slash Bertrand 850. Pretty much every night we play Warzone. And uh, yeah, the link is in the description. Uh, come hang out with us, come play with us. And uh, you know, we have a blast every single night. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I think it's gonna be a really fun video and uh, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys cannot tell already. This is gonna go piece right here, and this right here. The two main components, of course. Um, this is gonna mount up, kind of up underneath the railing, and the other end is gonna mount to the to the tailgate. This little ram here will lower and lift the tailgate with the press of a button right here. So, if someone wants to tailgate me, press that. This tailgate will lower down. And uh, we can let it rip, but take a little bit of fabrication. Like I said, this is gonna, I'm gonna be using this piece right here. So this kit is designed for a truck that doesn't have a uh, tonneau cover, um, or at least this kind of tonneau cover. It's designed for trucks that have tonneau covers that lift up and down, not rolling. So, all right guys, I'm trying to do this as fast as I can before it gets dark. Um, this is not an install video, but I like to show you guys step-by-step -step process on a lot of things but that drilled up there bolted up got the two holes right there okay so i'm gonna use this this is step drill bits those holes right there i got to make a little bit bigger for those brackets there because that's gonna go right here well, i'll explain all that but i don't want to i don't really want to drag this video out of me showing you how i installed this i want to show you how it works so um, I only got like another hour before it gets dark, even though I'm, I know I'm gonna be working into the dark. Tomorrow I'll show you everything during the day. We'll rip the horn tomorrow. Um, kind of show you just, you know, just in case someone wants to tailgate me. This is how I'll take care of it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
reinforce this little bar right here because whenever it does pull up into here here i'll show you there's the downward watch how it like kind of binds up just because it's so flimsy right there watch see how it's like kind of binded we're eliminating the con the 12 channel receiver and we're going to be running this directly to right here and then we're going to have our a switch, a toggle, a three-way, on, off, on, right there in the cab. We got the wire loom right there, right, right there, tug behind, gonna go all the way around underneath, and that's gonna go right into the cab. And then all the way it's powered is on this, with all those relays for on the compressors, and then the back side, the power's gonna be hooked right to that bus bar right there, positive and negative right there. So me and Neil are gonna go ahead and knock this out and then, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how it works when I get back to the house and go over everything, all right? So I will see you guys at home. But yeah, guys, here in a little bit, we're losing a little bit of daylight. We're gonna run over to Cartona here locally in Panama City and uh, we'll give this horn a couple rips and we are gonna show you how this tailgate works, all right? So we'll be going over there here in a little bit. It'll probably be dark though by the time we're there. But uh, you guys are really gonna like this, I think. So I will see you guys over there. And uh, yeah. Not much, this is like 60 PSI. Oh my God. All right guys, so we ran out of daylight, of course. I will see you guys in the morning. I'm actually about to fire up the stream real quick, but I'll finish up this video in the morning. We're gonna go over everything and uh, kind of go over all the components, why I decided to do it this way versus you know the other ways. So I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll go over everything, all right? All right guys, this is the next day. Obviously it is cold out. <laughs> Not too bad. Obviously you guys already seen it in action. We, I decided to go with a, the non-remote just because I don't, it's just too, I don't want to have to deal with that. I want something very simple and uh, this works. So obviously we got it hooked up like this. Bar right there, see how it's like bow, it's got a bow in it. So I'm gonna probably be taking that one back out. Probably gonna go with like a steel bar so it doesn't have any flex to it. I'm pretty happy with it. The quality of this kit is pretty nice. I will link them in the description, of course. Fairly easy job. Took a little bit of fabricating. Just because I have a tonneau cover, though. Um, I wasn't able to go direct, directly to the bed rails, so that kind of slowed us down a little bit, but not a big deal. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm going to put this tailgate back up. Yeah, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You got a lot of people been wanting to hear the horn. And, uh... This is, I've been wanting to do this for a little bit now. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you didn't enjoy this video, please, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably should think about it, you know? Um, we do a lot of diesel stuff on this channel and uh, well, and neighbor drama and all that stuff. And uh, also, if you want to come hang out with me and Streets, we sell on seven every night. We stream on Twitch, Modern Warfare Warzone. And uh, we play with subscribers. We just hang out all the time and have an absolute blast. So link in the description to that. And then of course, we're doing the 10 times entries on the Ford Raptor. So get yourself entered for that as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.